Now let's understand MVVM pattern with knockout. MVVM as it stands for model view view model is a design pattern for building user interfaces. It describes how you can keep a potentially sophisticated UI simple by splitting it into three parts model, view model and view. A model is your application's stored data. This data represents objects and operations in your business domain and is independent of any UI. When using Knockout, you will usually make AJAX calls to some server-side code to read and write this stored model data. So over here, you can see that we have a table called Tasks and it contains some columns like To Do, Completed and Created Date. So this is our model basically which is containing our stored data. And we will be communicating to this tasks table using AJAX and then we'll be showing the stuff from this table onto the UI. A view model is a pure code representation of the data and operations on UI. So over here you can see that we have tried to create a view model for the task table which is containing to do, completed and created date columns and their respective values. Now coming on to the view. The view is basically the HTML that we will be seeing over here. So for instance, I have created a text box and two divs, which is just displaying the information from the view model. So to do, completed and created date. We'll be coming to data bind and apply bindings in a short while. So to create a view model with knockout, we can just declare any JavaScript object. For example, we have our view model task and we have to do completed and created date as its property. Now, you can then create a very simple view of this view model using a declarative binding. For example, if you see over here, we have input type text and the data that it's binding. So text has got a value attribute and we are binding our view model task dot to do that is this value so to do is bind to the text box value attribute and then we have two divs created and we are just binding the text attribute of the div with this completed and created date now the data bind attribute is not native to html though it is perfectly okay it's strictly compliant in html5 and causes no problems with HTML4 even though a validator as you can see over here if I just go ahead and change it to 4.1 you will notice that it's not recognizing the data bind attribute but if I go to XHTML5 the data bind is not recognized but since the browser doesn't know what it means you need to activate knockout to make it take effect to activate knockout we need to add the following line to our script block or to the script function. So what exactly apply bindings do? The first parameter over here says that what view model object you want to use with the declarative bindings it activates. Optionally you can pass a second parameter here and that parameter basically defines which part of the document you want to search for data bind attribute. So you can just give an ID, let's say you are trying to go and bind a particular view model to a given div. So you can just pass that div's ID by making document.getElementById. And the name of the ID over here. And in case you are using jQuery, obviously you can go for the dollar symbol and the ID attribute. So that was basically MVVM with knockout. If I run this, you'll notice that this task is shown here. Task name coming as value. So it's showing the values from the view model basically. You can check it over here. So the view model was having to do completed and created date with these values and that is what we are showing over here in respective elements. So that is how we make use of MVVM with Knockout Chase.